tell you why Blizzard should develop a single player RPG set in the Warcraft universe. So that you understand the WoW story more, you can buy the books and read them. It's a good experience, I swear. Given the fact that they fucked up Warcraft 3's revamp, I don't know if I want this, maybe that Warcraft needs to be a single player RPG. When I saw that the title, it triggered me, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I was really intrigued. We have watched this gentleman a bunch of times, so sometimes I agree with him, sometimes I disagree with him, but he's a He's a nice dude in general. Warcraft is going to be a single player experience again for the first time in two decades because Microsoft is getting its head out of its ass and making new games in existing IPs. And Warcraft is the biggest suspect because Warcraft 3 and the RTS games define most of its most iconic characters. And I know this sounds insane, but Microsoft has already said they are planning on making more games in existing IPs because intellectual creativity is dead and money is more important. And Microsoft, if they had a shred of intelligence, would capitalize on the the very concept of Warcraft because money doesn't grow on trees it comes from gaslit Warcraft fans so hear me out Baldur's Gate 3 but Warcraft just think about it it sounds amazing now why does World of Warcraft wait, wait, wait. Baldur's Gate is not single player need a single player RPG because when WoW came out in 2004 it revolutionized the MMORPG genre but as gaming evolves so does the desires of its players and we want good fucking storytelling so I'm here right now to tell you why Blizzard should develop a single player RPG set in the Warcraft universe. First up, let's- Ah, that's what he's saying. I oh man, it took me a while to understand it. So he wants an actual single player RPG so that you understand the WoW story more. Is this what you're really interested in? The Warcraft story? You can buy the books and read them. It's a good experience, I swear. Let's talk about the lore. WoW's lore is massive, it's complex, and frankly, sometimes it's overshadowed by the gameplay grind. But imagine a single player RPG that deep dives into the rich tapestry of Azeroth history, myths, and legends. Think about Arthas's fall, I mean, Illidan's honestly, it madness, been the siege sick. of Azul Neru, the Troll Wars, and a hundred other amazing events. Think of the horrific events. In an it would have been sick, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I wouldn't have played it. I don't know. I, I, I don't think the majority of WoW fans value story that much. I mean, uh, maybe it's a hot take, but I don't believe the World of Warcraft fans appreciate good storytelling. If we did, we would have played other games already. I don't know, it's just me. An MMORPG, storylines and character development can get lost in the shuffle of raids and dungeons because gameplay comes first. Some MMOs do this better, for example, Final Fantasy XIV, but that also comes with hundreds of hours of dialogue. And as we've discovered from- And dialogues are annoying. Most WoW players, they'll skip it. But a single player RPG, yes. that's a different story. We could see characters Grow. That's a different story because people won't play it in the first place. Evolve and face personal struggles in a way that an MMO simply can't deliver. Think branching storylines, multiple endings, and choices that truly matter. Choices that you make that affect and change Azeroth. Secondly, accessibility. Not everyone has the time or desire to dive into the social aspects of an MMO, and that's only the social aspect. The grind of an MMO is tenfold most other games, unless you're grinding for rank in a competitive game. Most people just do not have the time to learn all the mechanics, to figure out how to play their class, to intrinsically figure out how to play World of Warcraft in all of its complicated but beautiful madness. Whereas a single player RPG offers a way for solo players, casual gamers, dads, and most of all, goddamn new people to enjoy the Warcraft universe at their own pace. Because WoW, even after two decades, is definitely not a new player friendly experience. No True. need to find a friend group, no pressure to keep up with the latest raid tier. But the thing is, there's no pressure about that in WoW as well. You're thinking that there, I mean, this thing is there. No one is pressuring you to do anything. For five days on my stream, I'm just doing professions. I haven't done a single heroic or a raid. It's just, why should I do that? Am I am I well geared? No, I'm not. Should I be well geared? Probably. Should I care? No? It's just you and the story. Thirdly, a single player game can push the boundaries in a way an MMO can't. Let's use Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XVI for example. A single player Final Fantasy is much more gorgeous and smooth and the world is more detailed and fleshed out, even if it is a much smaller explorable map. Enhanced graphics, innovative combat systems and more detailed environments. Imagine Azeroth rendered in Unreal Engine 5 for an RPG. The potential for immersive gameplay is goddamn enormous. And thankfully, Microsoft 
Microsoft owns Bethesda, ID, Obsidian, Inxile, and a dozen other studios with a long and prestigious single player RPG past. Using the they own them? Their expertise. They could let us explore a story in Azeroth that would reach new heights. Just thinking about the detailed environment, hidden secrets, and the interactive world where your actions could have real consequences has me getting, and I quote, rock solid. But every corner of Azeroth has amazing stories that can be explored and told. And finally, economically and financially, Microsoft would be fucking stupid to not do this. You want first party titles that sell Game Pass subs? Look no further than over 120 million consumers who would be potentially interested in a walk. Warcraft RPG. The new players and audience that they would attract, especially with a platform seller like the The truth is that a game like this will attract new people. And whenever new people are attracted, they're gonna be like, wow, actually WoW is pretty good. Why don't they try the actual MMO? Maybe it it is it is rock solid, you know? Warcraft RPG just makes perfect sense. And it would give them some goddamn credibility that they can actually put out some fucking games. This is assuming they don't fuck it up, mind you. Heck, you'd be guaranteed at least 5 to 10 million sales just from current World of Warcraft players. Throw in a few mounts, pets, transmog, etc. that transfer over to your main WoW account and boom. Easy sales. And if you want them on Game Pass instead of raw copies sold, just make linking your battle.net and Game Pass give them a reward too. It's so easy, Microsoft. If you just stop to think about the raw potential in your IPs, you'd make bank. But this is the same Microsoft who spent half a billion dollars almost a decade only to give us Halo Infinite. Yet more than anything, it expands the Warcraft IP and gives Microsoft more bang for their buck. They've already said that they're focusing on their existing IP, so why not focus on one of the biggest IPs on the planet? Another massive win would be the player retention. Imagine releasing a new RPG or FPS or RTS, heck, even a few indie games set in the Warcraft IP or other Blizzard IPs would be amazing. Between WoW expansions or when people are getting burnt out and skipping a season in retail or a classic x pack, they could just jump into the Warcraft RPG. Imagine a game like Hades, but set in the Diablo or Warcraft universe. More than that, if fosters a community through fan interactions and the ginormous player base avenue it gives Blizzard. Many people who are interested in Warcraft's universe but won't play an MMO would be able to enjoy Warcraft. And all it takes though is Blizzard being given the opportunity to create like they used to back in the day. They've proven that they can create compelling single player experiences with games like Diablo, Dude, this footage of this guy talking with, I don't know if he's developer or whatever he is, he's been used a bajillion times over the past months. It's just illegal. Starcraft and Warcraft 3. And they have an insane amount of existing assets and lore to draw from. And I know modern Blizzard equal bad, and to a degree, I do agree. But they seem to be changing, or at least attempting to change. Diablo 4 is finally good. Retail, for the first time- Diablo 4 is good? I mean, some friends are playing and they're not sharing the same feelings. For almost six years, looks really fun. Classic is larger and growing still. Please don't release two game modes in the same week and then delay another game made by a month again. <coughs> anyway, this would also shore up Blizzard's reputation and push it to compete with industry giants like Larian or CD Projekt. If there is one thing Blizzard has going for it, there are so many passionate people willing to be exploited to develop a game like this, that Microsoft could make an amazing game for cheap. And that's fucked up for me to say, but it's the truth. And honestly, fuck it, exploit people. I just want a good Warcraft game, a good Warcraft RPG. But let's also not forget fan demand. The Warcraft community has been asking for a single player experience for years. Really? Did they? Longtime fans, especially those who remember the original RTS games, would welcome a return to these solo adventures. And finally, I mean finally, there is fixing the goddamn law and expanding upon it in a better manner. They could retcon old or bad law and fix it with a dedicated story arc in alternate games. I mean, Honestly, this might be the plan after the World Soul Saga and everything ends, I don't know. Like, please fix the story, I beg. But not counting that, there are just so many untold stories, side quests and spin-offs that could enrich, fix and help flesh out the Warcraft narrative in a way that books and a terribly told MMO storyline just aren't doing. Plus, most people just don't really read books, so an RPG would solve that little problem. So there you have it. A single player RPG set in the World of Warcraft universe isn't just a nice idea, it's honestly a goddamn necessity. It's a win for Blizzard, it's a win for players and a win for the future of World of Warcraft. Blizzard, the ball is in your court. Please get off your goddamn wheelchair. The people need you. Get up and break that backboard like your goddamn shack. Subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe if you hated it so you can hate my next
Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I want Blizzard to do this. I mean, it would. Don't get me wrong. That he's doing some pretty solid points. If uh, if there is a basically World of Warcraft RPG single player, maybe I would have tried it because probably it's gonna have more immersive story and it's gonna be all about the story, right? But um, given the fact that they fucked up Warcraft 3's revamp, it's I don't know if I want this. Maybe they're gonna fuck up that as well. I don't know. Now back to WoW. 